John Seaman, a Christmas lesson for the very next day. Thinking that he could catch the ball in the pool that sunk of her three-year-old son. Seaman joined his first organized swim team when his family moved to the Herbert Swimming Club, and he was a star right away. By age 12, Seaman held national age records in the 100 and 200 butterfly. He had heard rumors that the great eye shop honor coach, Laurie Lawrence, was looking for young swimmers to train. The two connected, and the results were almost immediate. In 1982, at age 15, Stephen won his first Australian Open National Championship in the 200-meter butterfly, which qualified him to attend the Commonwealth Games in Brisbane. At those games, Stephen won bronze in the 200-meter butterfly and gold in the 4x100-meter medley relay. Heading into the 1984 Olympic Games, John Seaman was not on the radar for a medal in the 200-meter fly, having been ranked 25th in the world in 1983. He was just a month away from his 18th birthday in Los Angeles, and would be racing against 6-foot, 7-inch world record holder Michael the Albatross Gross of West Germany, and future Hall of Famer Pablo Morales of the United States. Seaman gained himself the nickname of Shrimp because of his small stature. But what Stephen lacked in size, he made up for in great maturity and refused to be intimidated by Morales or Gross. His coach, Lawrence, told him he was the best in the world and it was enough confidence for him to swim in his first Olympic final. In the lead up to the race, all the hype was around Gross and Morales and their rematch after a historic 100 butterfly battle four days prior. Both Gross and Morales had swum under the existing world record with the German coming out on top. The race unfolded as expected, with Gross leading the way and Morales in tow. At the halfway point, Seaman was nearly last, but it wasn't a cause for concern. The Aussie made his move on the third 50, turning in fourth place, and it looked like a medal was possible. But Seaman was shot out of a slingshot and ran down Morales and Gross, ultimately touching first and upsetting the entire field with Gross in second and Morales in fourth. His time was an entire four seconds faster than his previous best entering the day. Seaman's 200-meter butterfly win at the Olympic Games in LA in 84 has gone down in Australian folklore. One commentator even called it the best butterfly race in the history of the world. Seaman's gold medal was the first Australian Olympic gold in swimming in 12 years. He became a national hero in his country and was named Young Australian of the Year in 1984. Shoulder injuries hindered his performances in the coming years. His dream of defending his 200 butterfly Olympic gold medal was squandered when he finished third in the 1988 Olympic trials. So he set his sights on the 100, where he was a favorite to win in Seoul. Stephen just missed a medal in the 100, finishing fourth and just three hundredths off the podium. He retired shortly after for three years, but returned in time to make the 1992 Olympic team. This made him just the second Australian swimmer to appear in three consecutive Olympics after Don Frazier did so in 1964. Who was that young blower? Um, yeah, no, thank you very much. Um, it's a great honour uh, to be up here and being inducted with so many great other fellow swimmers, water polo players, divers, well, synchronised swimmers, I should say, and masters and open water swimmers. So thank you very much for inducting me. It's, it's um, a great honour that I'll always remember. So thank you. Um, yeah, three minutes. Jeez, when I used to swim and I'd say to Laurie, how much longer have I got? He said, only a few more minutes. Generally meant I had 40, 50s fly, so... I will try not to take 40, 50s fly. But um, it, I have a lot of people to thank. There's no way I would be here right now, first of all, without my mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> and they were an inspiration for me. They took me to every swimming carnival, every training session that was required at that young age. and and inspired in me the, you know, the desire and hard work that's required to, to try and be successful. So, first of all, my mum and dad, then my coach, obviously. I've had a lot of great coaches 
uh, throughout my career, and Laurie obviously stands out. When I was at the Olympics, but all my age group coaches, when I started with Dave Urquhart and Phil um, McLeod, then I had uh, Joe King, I even spent a time with uh, le the legendary Don Gamble in Alabama for 14 months and really enjoyed and learned a lot of uh, swimming with Don. Uh, I was, as obviously, I spent a lot of time with Laurie and, and also a little bit of time with uh, Dennis Cottrell at my last Olympics. So I've had, been very, very fortunate to have some great coaches around me that helped me throughout my whole career. And I wouldn't certainly be here right now if um, I said I was really wasn't sure whether I should come along uh, to the function coming from Australia and I thought, oh, I'm a bit old and, uh, you know, it's probably beyond me. But then I saw who else was being inducted and when, as soon as I saw Craig Beardsley, I was here. <laughs> Uh, I remember as a young kid, you know, he was the one I wanted to race in 84. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't there, but, you know, I took on Gross and was able to knock him off, but unfortunately, Craig wasn't there and I would have loved to have seen him there. But, you know, so as soon as I knew he was being inducted, I said, well, I've got to come. And um, my wife made me come. Uh, <laughs> she said to me, no, you need to be here. And so thank you to my lovely wife, Maria, and my two boys are here. Sebastian and Luca. But it's a great honour and I know you, there's some fantastic people that are being inducted tonight and I've been fortunate enough to meet most of you and I want to meet all of you um, later on when we have a few beers. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we Aussies do. Uh, so, so we'll have a beer, try and have a beer with every you, all of you, so have a good night and enjoy. Thank you.